la 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 Can I get a, uh, a C minor, please? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Black Friday specials. Black Friday, just that phrase, is like the siren song for me. It just draws me in. It used to be one day, hence Friday. Then it kind of turned into Black Friday month. And I'm all over it. I fight it. I try and fight it. Like Jason and the Argonauts. Now there's a Christmas movie reference, but I succumb. I'm weak. But it is a good opportunity for buying some Christmas gifts, which I did. A little something for Linda, a little something for Maddie. So let's jump in. Black Friday deals. What did I get? And how much did I save? I'm weak. Don't judge. I had the credit card working overdrive for Black Friday and um, picked up a few things. Now, the first one that I purchased, I can't really show you. I can't really get into details to what exactly this is. This is a Christmas gift for Linda. So obviously I can't show it because she is the number one fan of this channel and we'll be watching the uh, editing process and the finished product. So I don't want to ruin Christmas for everybody. I can't even give you a clue as to what this is. I will unveil it after Christmas. But as of right now, it remains pixelated. The next purchase I've made is something I've been looking at for a little while now. Basically something I've been looking at ever since I've got my Steel Mariposa custom built bike. I think this is a nice addition to that beauty. What are we looking at here? This was on sale over Black Friday. Normally goes for around 160 Canadian dollars plus tax plus shipping. It was on sale for I think 120 um, to the door. I think it cost around $130. Anyways, what am I talking about? This bad boy. This is an Impero Ultimate 2.0 frame pump from our friends at Silka. Now why did I buy this? Outside of it being super dope and super cool and will look great uh, along the top tube of the bike, I bought it mostly because I'm a little petrified of using a CO2 canister when I'm inflating my uh, tubeless setup on my NV 3.4s. They are capped at around 75 PSI for inflation. Anything above that, you run the risk of blowing out the tire. So CO2, I've always had an issue with controlling the amount of CO2 that flows into the inner tube. And uh, I think I can have a bit more control um, with my trusty friend here, the Impero frame pump. So yeah, pretty dope. Uh, one caveat though with this, and um, full disclosure, I'm a complete idiot. This is size large. Um, I measured incorrectly. I actually need a size medium. So this is now up for sale as I wait for the medium, which I have ordered. I would have shown you how to install this and how this looks on the Mariposa, but um, yeah, it doesn't fit. The last thing I bought for Black Friday, um, if you saw an earlier vlog, it was uh, one of my more successful vlogs. I'll put a link in the description below. It was um, certain cycling products that I have purchased in the past that I regret purchasing. One of them, sadly, was these guys. The S-Fire RC902s. Why do I regret buying these? You can watch that vlog to find out more, but uh, basically it's the uh, toe box shape. For some reason, it pinches in and around this area. And uh, I've considered amputating my little pinky toe uh, to accommodate these, because they were rather expensive, but I decided not to do that. And instead, jump on the Black Friday deals. Now what did I purchase? Got some new shoes. I've had my eye on these for a little bit. They uh, are the Rafa Pro Shoes. When these initially came out, and they still offer them, you can get it with the BOA attachment. Two BOA dials on the side. But I rather like this design. These are obviously their lace-ups. The upper isn't leather, the upper isn't even faux leather. They call it their Power Weave. And I envision at some point, I'm gonna be doing a vlog about how to keep these clean. 
it's gonna be a bitch. So these haven't been outside yet because as you can see, we're in winter and there's no way that these are gonna see uh, the winter weather. And there's no way these are gonna be outside until at least June. But I, ha I did mount some cleats on and I have tried them out on the trainer. So far so good. There's uh, plenty of space here on the side for my little pinky. So now I don't need to go through surgery and have that removed. My feet are very happy about that decision. And the closure system itself is uh, pretty simple and uh, seems to hold everything in place with no slippage. Again, I've only used them once for a one hour indoor training session, but uh, they seem to do the job. One thing though about these, and I think this kind of holds true for most cycling shoes, is the insert. These are terrible. For the price that you pay for high-end shoes, like again, these Shimano's were around $600. The insert in these is about as good as these. Pretty pitiful. The one thing they do offer though is an adjustment for uh, the midfoot. You can have a medium or a high arch. You just simply remove that part. There's some Velcro. Put it back in. So I removed the mid and I put in the high arch and uh, so far so good. It seems to be pretty comfortable. What did I spend? These, I think, are listed, again, in Canadian dollars at around 400 on the website. There was a Black Friday special that brought them down to 300, I believe, and then there was a save 25%. So, in the end, with shipping and taxes and all that good stuff, uh, I think I paid $250, something like that. But uh, yeah, so far so good and uh, pretty happy. So let me know in the comments below if you succumbed to the temptation of Black Friday, if you believe in that kind of thing, or if you're saving up for Boxing Day. There may be another vlog coming about what I succumbed to over Boxing Day, but I am trying to save my shekels because Linda and I have a trip planned in February. More on that to come. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care.